Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Team Natty back here again. Today, it's my last day off out of four. Kind of sad about it, but whatever. I'm always ready to get back on the grind. Um, it's currently 11 o'clock, July 30th. And so, basically, all I have to do on my gym today is um, I have to edit some video footage and then I have to work out. I'm uploading my vlog from Thursday right now. <clears throat> Uh, currently fast, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday, at around 9 o'clock, um, but anyway, I'm going to, uh, go skateboarding today with my friend Tim again, and I don't know if I'm going to do that at Lancaster or Pickerington, but he said he rained in Lancaster, so probably do it here at Pickerington since it's, uh, nice and sunny out, as you can see. Either way, so, that's all I got planned for today, I mean, we might finally see Ant-Man. I've been trying to see Ant-Man forever. And Taylor just asked me if I wanted to go to the 740 showing here in uh, Pickerington. So that'd be cool. I'm really excited. So yeah, stay tuned. I actually haven't had caffeine in like four days. So I need to make myself uh, some espresso or something. To it sizzle. I was gonna fast, but I think I'm just gonna break that now because I'm freaking starving and I could use some protein. I haven't drank a protein shake in a long time, so that's what we're gonna make. Uh, Taylor, forgive me, but I'm gonna use some of your Blue Lab protein that I found. Apparently this stuff tastes like, uh, it's called Waytella. It's supposed to taste like Nutella. So hopefully this makes a really good espresso protein shake. Okay, so right now we have a blender Full, and that's got four shots of espresso in it. One scoop of Waitella protein from Blue Labs, which is 25 grams of protein, 130 calories, and eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk, vanilla. I believe that is the 80 calorie kind. Oh, I'm sorry, 30 calories. So this entire shake is gonna be 160 calories. Total, 25 grams of protein. Actually, plus whatever's in the Almond milk, which is the thing, is only one gram, so like 26 grams of protein. Either way, let's blend this bad boy up. This is gonna taste amazing. Now, that's a good shake. It's a little warm, because I didn't have any ice. I don't know what happened, but for some reason, our ice trays aren't in our freezer. And the only thing we have are those like plastic ice cubes you can put in bottles. So I had to go without a thought. The almond milk would cool it down enough, but the espresso is just a little too warm. So it's warm, but that's okay because like you're just kind of used to it. It tastes mostly like coffee with a hint of Nutella. It's pretty good, but it's a little foamy. It's thick and rich. And it's warm, so it tastes like coffee anyway in the morning. So cheers. How did she possibly get this into this bag? It's not working for me. I <laughs> don't understand. <laughs> Finally got it in there. That's what I'm talking about. Robert One Ziploc Bag Zero. I'm gonna show you guys something cool. Something, if you don't have an actual espresso machine, you might not know, but you can see there, that's the coffee done after the espresso. That is like hard as a rock because of the pressure. It looks sandy, doesn't it? Watch this. Gonna literally beat it out of there a little bit. It just comes out as a disc. Look at that thing. It's warm. I mean, if you get it when it first when it first comes out, it's hot, but. Oh, it broke, but that's a hard coffee disc right there. If anybody ever bashes you for wearing 
like Nike SB or Adidas SB and they say they only skate core shoes and you see a pair of chucks on their feet, then they're idiots because Nike owns Converse and Nike and Adidas have done great things for the uh, skateboarding community, I do believe. I think core is great too, but that's my, that's my opinion on that. So we're here in uh, Miller Park, west side Lancaster, and uh, we're skateboarding. And it has some beautiful graffiti over here. It's really nice. Some good, some good works of art. Ramps are a little dilapidated, but Tim and I are going to try to learn some sort of kickflip trick because I can only, we can only ollie and pop shove it so far. So we need to learn more ground tricks. Pizza sounds so good even though I just had it yesterday, but it was a frozen pizza so it doesn't even count right. And so does China Buffet. I wonder if I could sneak someone up Taylor knowing about it. Wouldn't that be cool? Just go in there for lunch after my workout and be like, yo, table for one, please. The whole buffet. I need it. What are you doing, lady? That was a very, very sharp left turn you did there. You didn't even give me a lane to move. You just, you just cut right over into my lane, my area. Couldn't even get up to the the area needed to be to turn right. Here we go. Okay, we got some extra goodies here. We got the, I don't know, first, the, right the first time, the uh, cereal. I think this is what it's called. Fruity cereal flavored uh, Optimum Nutrition Cake Bites. And then the mint kind. Um, I love mint. So, um, do a quick little test, test and review real quick. That one's really good. Go ahead and clench my palate. Oh, my body is ready. Look at that. These are my favorites so far, these are really good. Mmm. Tastes like Fruity Pebbles protein in my mouth. Cereal milk one, five out of five. Mint, four out of five. Good, not as many as I want it to be. Review over. Finally gonna see Ant-Man. Finally gonna see Ant-Man and the Wasp. So guys, we're sitting here after Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, just got home. I'm kind of hungry, but we had those burritos with I mean, like they're like, kind of like fajitas with uh, mango salsa and guacamole. There and uh, Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Really good. Try them out sometime. Um, oh, and it was turkey beef too. So even better for you. Or not turkey beef. I thought it was beef because of the smells, but it's actually a turkey burger. Uh, so all around really healthy and low calorie. Um, Taylor's a little tired over there. Well, we gotta go downstairs and drink our water and stay hydrated. Uh, we just got back from Amy and the Wasp, as I said. Uh, really good film. I'm not going to give you any spoilers or ruin it for you. Um, but, you know. <coughs> hello. Two post credit Well, yeah, two post credit scenes. Um, I think it, it was really good. Um, it had a good amount of humor. It kind of deviated from the heist theme, but kept it, you know... Um, uh, it kept it. It kept it um, entertaining and kept you enticed and drawn in. Uh, really great storylines, great characters. Paul Rudd is one of my favorite actors, so uh, fantastic job from him. Uh, Taylor, is there anything you want to say about the movie? No spoilers. Don't wait until the very end. It's stupid. That's a that's a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. It's stupid. Don't waste your time. 
Do it anyway. If you're a true Marvel fan, you'll wait to the very Don't end. Don't do it. It's dumb. Taylor. Shh, 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 shh. Anyway, guys, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I give it a 9 out of 10. Go see it. Not as good as the Avengers movie, but how could it be? Because it's like a action-packed superstar movie. So um, I thought it was great. I'd definitely see it again when it comes out. And yeah, so that's the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, July 30th is today? Yep. Wow, it's crazy. Almost done with July. So, coming up we're going to be doing Vlogist. Um, basically about the same thing I'm doing right now. Just uh, committing to vlogging daily. Every day of the month of August. And also, um, checking out some other channels that will be doing the same thing and helping them out as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. As I said, have a fantastic day. Wherever you're watching this, have a great time. Thank you so much. Team Natty out.